questions regarding one The town of Milton has implemented a new bylaw for short-term rental owners. The bylaw came into effect July 15th that requires you to get a license in order to have one. Regional Councillor Zishan Hamid says this bylaw levels the playing field for other hospitality businesses like bed and breakfasts and hotels. The, the thing people have to remember is that hotels are regulated. Uh, they go into different zones where they're appropriate, they're taxed appropriately. And so if you have someone that buys a house in your neighborhood and converts them into a short-term rental, that's really unfair because they're not paying commercial taxes on it. Short-term rentals have become a bit of an issue in Milton, according to Hamid. It generates traffic, generates noise. There have been entire weddings, believe it or not, that have been held in Airbnb homes. Uh, there are homes listed on Airbnb right now in Milton, you can search for, that advertise as, you know, suitable for big parties and wedding venues. How does that make sense? So we're going to be regulating them quite heavily, uh, requiring that any short-term rental goes through an application process. The application process comes in a few steps that's listed here on the town's website, with forms like the Good Neighbor Agreement and the Renter Code of Conduct that outlines the specific rules to follow. Hamid says the ultimate goal is to hold short-term rental owners accountable. So now that they're uh, regulated, uh, bylaw officers can visit these sites if they are being rented out uh, illegally. Uh, they can find the owners, they can shut down parties, they can get police involved. So we have a lot more options available now uh, with new regulations. And let's not forget these regulations include enabling the town to say no to your short-term rental. For Halton News in Milton, I'm Melissa Candelaria.